Hey guys, what is up? It is Skullflag44 here, bringing you another Minecraft Let's Play video, episode 26, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we are about to go down into this mine and kind of explore this area. Um, this is the same day that I recorded the last episode on, but it's like, what, like five hours later, something like that? Um, maybe four. Something along those lines. Um, so yeah, I'm just about to go in the hot tub after I record this, so it'll be fun. But this will be fun as well, so I'll have double the fun. Alright, so interesting cave system looks like. Oh gosh, something's attacking me. Don't really care. <laughs> that was bad. Whatever now. It's pretty, like, relatively high up and spread out, so interesting. I guess might as well start over here. Oh, wow, lots of skeletons. Just a ton. But they're coming from all sorts of different areas, so it doesn't make me think spawner necessarily. Nothing else over here. More water. Ooh, some sort of light. Seems pretty high up for lava, but... Wow! You're crazy, bro. I was wondering if I should have made, like, another sword, but then I was like, eh, I'll be fine, but... Didn't expect to get this many monsters. There's the lava, yeah, that's what I expected, just a little um, lava flow. Lots of water here, too. Oh, wait. I don't really want to block it up all the way, but I want to stop it. I guess I'll take this coal, might as well. Um, so as of this recording, Matt Flynn just got traded to, not traded, signed with Seattle. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give my thoughts on it, uh, just, just for fun, because I'm not gonna write a blog post on it. And he could potentially be the franchise quarterback, like, I mean, quarterback of the future, cube. Um, what quarterback of the future cube cube oft off um, as some people might like like to call it um, and so I thought it might be interesting if you know he does end up being like the quarterback for like 10 years for the Seahawks and then I can see my like initial reactions about it something like that or just hear the fact that I'm talking about it you know I thought that might be kind of interesting just now that I thought of that um, so um, what do I think? I think it's a good deal. They gave him like a three years, 26 million, um, 10, 10 million gar guaranteed. Um, the 26 million is in incentives, so it's going to be about like $6 million a year. Um, that, like, which I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, Tavares Jackson was a two years, $8 million, so $40 million a year, um, which is relatively, you know, small um, for a quarterback. And it gives him the opportunity, you know, he's only played two games um, because he was backup of Aaron Rodgers, who was the backup of Brett Favre. Um, so, coming, you know, seemed to work out well, you know, for the Packers, um, their quarterback, so that's a good sign. Good God, where are these things coming from? Um, oh, 360 there. So, he was a, I remember watching him play at LSU, and he was a seventh round draft pick. Um, it's kind of interesting because, you know, seventh rounders, you know, usually not, don't end up being a quarterback that you groom a lot, but I guess he did. Um, and, you know, just worked underneath him. He's 26 years old now. Um, in two games, he had like a six touchdown game and like, with like 480 yards. Like, it was a really impressive game. Um, but he's only played very limited amounts. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays with more time. And he doesn't, like, get the start starting job outright. Um, Tavares Jackson. He didn't have a great season last year, but he wasn't, like, you know, horribly bad. 
Um, so that'll give an option, you know, if maybe Tavares Jackson, you know, steps up and just be, does amazing this year, then that'll be great too. Um, but it gives, you know, the Seahawks are all about competing. Um, so that gives them more competition, and more competition usually means better production um, in, in any sense, really. Like, you know, if you look at two companies, when two companies are competing for sales and stuff, people get better prices, better products. Um, so. Hopefully it works out well. I'm excited to see how that turns out. The preseason games will be fun. Highly anticipated, I am sure. And, um, yeah, so it should be fun to see him play and see how he turns out. The Seahawks got Charlie Whitehurst, and then he kind of failed. And then they got um, Tavares Jackson, and he didn't really fail, but it wasn't like, you know, anything that was a success, <laughs> really. Um, so I bet they'll still draft a quarterback whether it be Kirk Cousins, Osweiler, Russell Wilson, a uh, quarterback like that. Not, I don't think they'll go Tannehill now because he's they'd probably take him with the 12th draft pick, which is a little high. Um, but, uh, you know, some quarterback can kind of sit back and kind of get groomed um, and learn the system and then eventually maybe be the franchise quarterback um, like three years down the road once Flynn's contract is up. Um, if Flynn just turns out to be mediocre. Um, but I'm sure if there's already like a deal in place that if he does turn out to be, you know, extremely good, then they'll restructure it, you know, and give him a, more money. Um, but that's probably already a little bit in place with the incentives. Um, so yeah, it seems like a great deal for Seattle. Um, you know, we'll see how it turns out. They have the money to spend, so might as well spend it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, there's my little rant on that. Um, I think he could turn out to be really good. Um... I'm expecting him to, you know, be the starting quarterback for a while. Um, I don't know. Like, I expect him to be the starting quarterback this year at some point. Um, but, we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. If I had to make a guess. Uh, some people, like, some running backs and stuff just look like good running backs, and that's kind of how I make my decisions sometimes. Like, it sounds kind of stupid because, you know, I'm a guy that, you know, knows a lot about, you know, oh, that was nice. You know, knows a lot about this stuff, you know, relatively, I guess. But, uh. I don't know, like, sometimes, like, Chris Polk looks like a good running back, you know, Sean Green, I think that's his name, um, S-H-O-N-N, -N, he's with the Jets, he just looks like a good running back, like, I, it's not like, you know, I can, you know, oh, that guy looks like a running back, he must be good, you know, whatever, but it's, like, compared with the numbers and, you know, the just overall feel, you know, I can kind of make, like, a decision on that, um, so, and he looks, and Flynn looks like a good quarterback, like he could, you know, be kind of like a Tom Brady, Matt Hasselbeck. Um, not that those guys are, you know, like, at the same level necessarily, but, you know, Matt Hasselbeck came from um, Green Bay, and Tom Brady was a six-round draft pick out of Michigan, so, you know, I think there's a good chance that he could be good, but if he's not, the Seahawks won't lose all that much, so it's a good deal all around. Um, and John Schneider was one of the guys that, drafted him at Green Bay, and now he's the general manager for the Seahawks, so he probably knows already, or already knows a lot about him, I would guess, so that's already already good, so yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes, Seahawks already have a good defense, um, their offense is improving, they got Marshawn Lynch to a big, longer deal, um, so yeah, it's, it's looking good, it looks like I think they can make a run at it, um, Especially, I think it would be great if um, the 49ers lost out on Alex Smith because they're not. I don't think they're going to get Manning. Um, they can try to get Manning, but I don't really see it happening. I see him going to Tennessee. But it only makes sense that Manning went to Tennessee because, I mean, not like this is the only reason, but you know he went to Tennessee in college, and this is probably where, where he'll finish out his career, I'm going to guess, um, which is kind of weird to think about because like, Peyton Manning on any other team than the Colts is just kind of strange that like I've only known him on the Colts, you know, um, so, yeah, uh, whoa, what the heck, weird, d -d 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 oh, mind bender, I know exactly where we are, this is where you go into the other place, how did I never come all the way over here, huh, um, well, that's pretty interesting, it's very interesting, actually. This connects all the way back around. This is from my older cave system. But I left to find a new one, 
and I found this one, but it's just a part of my older one. Strange. I mean, I, I knew it was close because, you know, I was there before, but it's just weird how it works. That's how I got there in the first place. Didn't make any sense at all, but it made sense to me. It's all that matters. Um, so, yeah. I, th I think the... Um, I, th I think uh, what the Seahawks could make a run at the title, the NFC West title, and get back into the playoffs this year. Because the 49ers, they're, like, they're a solid team, but I don't you know think of them as being like spectacular. And um, the Seahawks were, you know, they were making a playoff push at the end. They had the you know they had games where they were extremely impressive. Um, and I think if you know, especially if. Uh, 49ers lose out on Alex Smith and he goes to Miami, um, then that would make, you know, their, you know, them less, you know, solid. I don't even know how to say that, but that's the plan. And then there's, of course, the Cardinals, which, you know, they have Kevin Cobb that kind of, they kind of screwed up on since he didn't really turn out to be all that great. Um, but he was kind of like a similar situation to, uh, was it, Matt Flynn, but Matt, the Seahawks paid Matt Flynn way less money, um, which is great. So, yeah, and then there's the Rams, which is just, oh, poor little Rams, just kind of out there. Oh, this, is, this is extremely strange. I have no idea where I am. But, oh well. Well, there's a good Seahawks rant. Needed to get that out of my system, I guess. Um... I, I, I wonder if I ever will, like, go back and watch my videos, like, I don't know, I've had, like, no desire to do that now, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be, like, you know, when I'm, like, 30, 40, or something like that, um, because, like, if I go back and watch my videos now, like, my older videos, it is just, like, oh, gosh, like, my voice, so freaking high, um, but it actually makes it more impressive that I can actually, like, start my YouTube channel and be fairly successful, um, with an extremely high voice. Um, so that has to mean my content was at least semi good, or I worked the system in a way that got views or whatever. So I guess that's kind of good. It's a good, nice positive spin on it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like when you're a younger commentator, maybe I'll throw this out there. Just one, you know, wrapping up tip. Um, don't if you're, you know, what like 12, 13, you know, 14. If depending on your, your voice, because that's really the most important stuff with this YouTube. Um, gaming stuff at least um, you, you don't like you know if you got a really high voice don't try to do like personality stuff like let's plays um, I don't like my whole thing is just like I'm not actually trying to get like out there like you know I want to become like a super popular like you know personality that everyone likes or whatever I'm just doing this as a cool way to you know track my life um, in some sense but you know some of these oh gosh I almost got launched in the lava there some of these guys think that they need to like uh, be like make more like Call of Duty commentaries when they're like 12 or 13. Um, it's just like no, I, I don't think that's what you want to do, buddy, because you're only gonna get trashed on. But if you make like tutorials and stuff, that's a whole demo different demographic. That's people searching, and if you give them the answer, they'll usually be, you know, fairly pleased. If you were to give something like, um, and now you, you know. Like give them some BS or whatever, they're probably, you know, gonna hate on you and then, you know, you're, you know, comment about your voice or, you know, Skullfag44, as everyone likes to say. I find that so funny when people say that, like, oh, I thought you said Skullfag44. I'm like, really? You're so creative. Like, did, like, wow. I can't believe you came up with that one, you know? Like, it's, it's just, I just find that great. Like, you know, if, some, if someone gets a joy out of that, um, you know, good, good for them. I'm happy. Um, I just found that hilarious. Um, alright, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. Whoa, that's weird. Um, good, good talk, everyone. Um, thanks for, you know, being part of this discussion, this one-sided discussion. Um, Matt Flynn to Seattle. Woohoo, woohoo. Um, or maybe boohoo, boohoo, depending, you know, on what happens. Um, I remember watching, or I remember recording a video after the Seahawks played. I think it was in the playoff game. Maybe it was against the Saints. Um, I remember working the caves after that game. It sounds like a like I'm a minor and I pl actually played the game, so not really wanted I not really what I wanted to get across, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna end it here. I've got a lot of stuff and I have no idea how I'm gonna get back. Um, 
Okay, so let's just set myself up in a place where I can like see something to go explore. Maybe, okay, there we go. That seems like I would be like, okay, starting up the world again, I want to go down there. So that's kind of the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Later.